this week I'm going to begin the video clip without saying the word well at the start but in fact today is probably budget day or the day after budget day 2006 and up on the front page of the Australian is the heading manna from heaven. Now that relates to the budget which was delivered by the Treasurer last night and you might say well what's the budget got to do with it? the topic social security law. Well it's through the budget that the government is able to affect changes in the social security law. First of all by making changes to the amounts of the benefits payable to those recipients of social security and also by uh, altering the tax the system and tinkering with the tax system. What are you doing, Robo Lawyer? Showing off. Well, I'm going to ignore you and we're going to talk about Social Security law. It's a branch of public law and the main piece of legislation in Australia is the Social Security Act. It's a Commonwealth Act and it makes a provision for the payment of benefits to different categories of recipients. And in fact, uh, the whole terminology of the Act is rather interesting because they talk about the eligibility of a person for benefits by two tests. The first test is the qualification test, whether the person actually meets the criteria to be paid a benefit. And then there's the payability test, and that's where, even though a person may well meet the qualification, the amount of the benefit payable is reduced depending on other factors. And generally that's the assets and income tax. Now one of the big problems for the government is that there's, too, uh, there's plenty of money to go, well there's not plenty of money to go around. There's only a fixed amount of money which can be paid out in terms of benefits in Social Security. Uh, depending on the policy of the government. And a real dilemma is whether everyone should receive the same amount or whether those in the greatest need and need, uh, at least able to support themselves should be advantaged by being given more. Yeah. So that whole issue of the income tests, assets tests related to government policy. Uh, what I would say Lawyer, is that if you go to the various websites listed in this lecture, you'll, and I've put an announcement up there on Blackboard as well, have a look at those because they will provide you with a lot of the detail about social security law and various aspects of it. Now, certainly there are some key ideas. One uh, already mentioned the eligibility aspect. The other one is uh, people are very, oh, quite often in receipt of benefits, they need to be aware that they have to inform the department if their circumstances change. Uh, and that's one of the big problems, for example, if they form a relationship and become a member of a couple, because the penalties, yeah, the penalties for breaching uh, social security law are quite severe. Oh, you've got, what's that going on now? You've got the news on. Look. If you've got a problem with the decision made by the Social Security Department or Centrelink, you can appeal to what's initially the Social Security Appeals Tribunal, then after that you can appeal to the Administrative Appeals Tribunal. Then this lecture was probably useful for a lot of students because in your future professional lives you'll probably have more than a nodding acquaintance with aspects of social security law, uh, mainly probably in your working with clients, and it's useful to be able to point them in the right direction. It's useful if you're able to click up on the web page and find the information, and to, to their credit, the government has provided this information uh, on the web pages in a relatively easy form to follow. I'd also draw your attention to the 
web page put out by the Welfare Rights Centre. It's a non-government organisation and it provides you with uh, information about aspects of social security law. Now one of the big problems of course is that the, those people who are in receipt of social security are uh, quite often uh, they're very very poor and they don't have the wherewithal to uh, effectively challenge administrative decisions which have been made. Now the other thing uh, which I started off with is apart from the payment of benefits for over lawyer the government can also use the taxation system as a method of increasing benefits through uh, family payments to people on certain income levels. So you don't have to be unemployed to actually receive benefits. The taxation system is an alternative way which the government can you adjust the, the benefits. And in fact, uh, some people sort of even regard social security law as equivalent in complexity to taxation law. It's just that the pe uh, people who have the most dealings with social security law probably aren't as well healed, shall we say, as those who are uh, involved in the taxation law. Right, so, any worries, Rabbi? Yeah. Hmm? You're waiting for the assignments to come in, are you? Well, uh, to be honest, Rover, we have got some assignments already in. I haven't looked at them yet because uh, what you want to help me mark them. Oh, good heavens. I don't know whether the people out there really want to hear that or not, Rover. Well, look, you just say goodbye today. You say goodbye, Rover. Goodbye, Rover.